Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on After GMS. It is Wednesday, November 2nd. I'm Tracy McCain here with Megan Malares, Christian Morgan, and Matthews. We're all here, present and accounted for. <laughs> And ready for a more November-like day. I'm trying to log in so I can say hello to everybody. <laughs> yeah. the phone's well, listen, not they will wait for you. <laughs> they will. Wait, wait. <laughs> Especially for this forecast when we're talking about the weekend, which is yeah. perfect, unseasonably warm for November. It really is. You know, November is really getting off to a warm start. Mm -hmm. uh, 70s yesterday. We got to 75 degrees yesterday. That's pretty warm for the beginning of November. Today will be a little bit cooler. You can already see the extra clouds building in now across the Piedmont and those will continue to thicken up. It's all from a little upper level disturbance out over Tennessee now that's swinging through the Piedmont for today. Yes, it does have some rain with it back in Tennessee, but I think most of that moisture kind of gets wrung out before it arrives here in the Piedmont. So we'll see the extra clouds today, maybe a sprinkle or shower. But as that uh, little disturbance slides through and moves away from us, we'll start to bring the sunshine back into the picture. We're back up to 70 tomorrow into the mid 70s as we gradually warm up heading into the weekend. So the weekend is really shaping up to be really nice weather wise. There you go today. Hour by hour on Futurecast shows you a few sprinkles, maybe a shower, but I think that's about it. And really not a day that I'd think about carrying the umbrella along. I think you're going to be just fine for the most part. Uh, temperature wise, we're in the mid 50s right now, warming into the mid and upper 60s this afternoon as you head out to uh, take care of those afternoon plans, maybe go do some early voting still going on for you, by the way. And then tonight as the sun starts to set, we'll cool off into the low 60s around dinner time and then fall all the way down to around 50 tonight with a partly cloudy sky. There could be some areas that drop down into the upper 40s. The, tea, uh, the uh, typically cooler spots, outlying areas, foothills, of course, would have a better opportunity to do that. But it'll be chilly tomorrow morning, and then the warm-up trend continues for the next few days. It's not big and not grand, but it's little by little, day by day, as we get back into the mid-70s. Weekend looks good. Low, uh, morning lows will be in the low to mid-50s. Afternoon highs in the mid-70s. And I'm going to keep reminding you about this. We fall back one hour. So an extra hour of sleep Saturday night. Don't forget to change those clots back as daylight saving time comes to an end. We'll be dry and warm to kick off next week. November 8th, voting day on Tuesday. Should be just fine to get out and vote. Nice. Well, Christian just mentioned daylight saving time. It ends this weekend, November 6th. We'll turn our clocks back an hour, and I don't think anyone is turning away that extra hour of sleep. I'm certainly not. Not on this shift. You're right, exactly. This shift, we have that locked. So <laughs> we have observed this practice of springing ahead or falling back an hour for the last 114 years, every March to November. But now some experts say it could be causing health problems. They argue that eliminating daylight saving time would help people get more sleep and relieve stress. Another argument, our bodies need more sunlight and setting the clocks an hour back delays the body's melatonin production, which can mm. lead to a lack of sleep and is also a key factor in diabetes, stress, heart disease, depression, the list goes on. I've had a lot of questions over the last couple days as I've been posting my seven day forecast on social media and say, hey, don't forget, mm -hmm. so I'm not gonna change the clocks back. And I think there's now a lot of confusion because it mm -hmm. came up. So wait, I thought we didn't change back yet. And I'm like, no, 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 that hasn't been decided yet. So that, that has yeah. to be, you know, voted on and passed through the house and, and all that. The so process. we're still changing it here for now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There have been proposals for many years mm -hmm. on the state and federal level trying to either keep us in daylight saving time, which is that extra hour of sunlight in summertime, what right. we're currently still in, or just to get rid of it all together. Mm -hmm. And so I think there are usually two camps of people, people who want daylight saving, people who don't, but the general consensus is that everyone wants it to just be consistent all year round. Right, that's mm -hmm. the third option. And yeah. I'm in that camp yeah. where like it doesn't really matter to me. You yeah. know, I don't sleep anyway. Whether it's <laughs> provided Precisely. to me by have... God's nature or not, I I won't unfortunately get it uh, for at least another five years is yeah. kind of my estimate here because of the young kids that I have at home. I'm not complaining, just saying I'm it's okay with it yeah. either way. I will say I always here we go, you know, week leading up to it. I'm like, man, I really look forward to that extra hour of sleep. And every single time, yeah, ends up something on that Saturday night, you know, when I'm off on Sunday, I end up doing something late and staying up, and then mm -hmm. I see the clock roll, and I'm like, well, here there goes is. that opportunity. Yeah, there's that hour. <laughs> now it's just a normal late <laughs> night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And I'm all I'm always paranoid because of course the change comes up yeah. at two o'clock on on Sunday morning and that's what time I get up. <laughs> right. My yes. alarm goes off at two o'clock. It's like, is that gonna be the new two o'clock yeah. or the old two o'clock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like Are you so, gonna be an hour late? So yeah. or an hour early. Exactly. Yeah. So bottom line, I pretty much don't sleep. Oh, on no. Saturday night, Sunday morning, because I'm I'm just afraid that I'm not going to get up or something's going to happen, mm -hmm. and 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 I'm going to miss work. I don't know about all these health problems. I've I've never had any problems. I'd like to blame uh, you know the the uh, time change uh, for my diabetes. Mm -hmm. I think more likely that came from eating junk food when I was a younger person. Uh, but it doesn't have you know a physical or psychological impact mm -hmm. on me. I just wish, and this only comes up when we change time. Mm -hmm. Twice a year, people start grumbling about, let's change it to what we're going to change it and leave it alone. Um, let's do it. What's, what's all the talk that's been going on for years and years and years about this? Let's go ahead, do the legislation, get it done, and not have to worry about changing our clocks mm -hmm. again, and maybe I can get a good night's sleep. So yeah. much time would you Arizona rather stay Arizona doesn't on? do it. Arizona yeah. You know, I have you know I have mixed emotions and I can't remember if we stay on day is it daylight savings time where it stays darker later in the yes. morning. I mean our sunrise now is what about quarter till eight yeah. mm -hmm. at the moment. Now that's right. gonna change, oh, yeah. you know, on yes, on, it's a on Sunday off. morning. Mm -hmm. It's a trade off, but I think about the school kids mm -hmm. that yeah, are waiting out true. at the bus stop in the dark for the school bus. So mm -hmm. I but at the same time, I love the longer days. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, in the middle of the summer, you know, when sunsets, you know, at 8:30, I'll look at my watch and it's like, "Oh my god, I was supposed to be in bed an hour and a half ago." Yeah. And I'm out having fun in the right. day. Well, don't stop that. No, I'm not going to do that. Don't stop having fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I will say, again, we could go on and on about this, but yeah. if we were to stay on this current time, mm -hmm. eventually our sun's sunrise would be almost 9 a.m. Really? Wow. Yeah, it would. So That's there silly. is, yeah. I mean, mm. again, there's arguments on both sides. of it. I kind of fall into that. I don't really fall into either one of those camps. I'm just kind of like, okay, well, whatever. If, if that's what we do, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, I mean, it affects commerce and it does. farmers. Mm -hmm. yep. And it affects, you know, mm -hmm. everything that we don't really even think about school kids. You know, it, it affects so much of our life when we don't have an earlier sunrise. Um, so I think that's probably why that is the case. Yeah. Um, consistency would be great, but I mean, I get it. I totally understand why we have daylight mm -hmm. saving time, why we have an, an hour back and then why we spring forward. It, it totally makes sense, but at the same time, if it, there's health benefits, maybe we need to look at some of the other things that are behind it, but driving it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there are more than one reason why people have heart disease. It can be genetic, to be honest with you. You could be predisposed to heart disease, depression, diabetes, obesity. So, you know, I don't like blaming daylight saving time on all of these sure. health issues when we know that there are other things that can happen. Do you think it really just kind of boils back down to, okay, yeah, well, it does this and does this and does that and does this, but really doesn't it all boil, just boil down to the amount of sleep that we're getting? I think it's an mm -hmm. argument for more sleep. Yeah. yeah, I mm -hmm. think it really we is. We all could use more, right. right? I'm sure. Which could yeah, mean that, right. that maybe we need to work less during the week. Maybe instead of a five-day work week of 40 hours. And there are plenty of people who are going who want to the, the four-day four day day. Mm -hmm. yeah. already. Yeah, yeah. So, here's a solution. Opens up a whole big conversation. Right, it does. And that was also happening right now. Yeah, too. <laughs> that one's happening too. Yeah. yeah. So you were talking about this here on the feed. Lavar said he likes it when it's dark earlier. Mm -hmm. Joanne pointed out this has been the case since World War II. Originally done to help the farmers mm -hmm. have yeah. more light in the evening in the summertime, mm -hmm. of course. Bobby said he does tend to get more sleep when the clock turns back because it's darker earlier, yeah. of mm -hmm. course. LeVar also pointed out in Alaska, the sun didn't come up until 10 a.m. in the winter time. Mm -hmm. 
So school starts at <laughs> yeah. What time? They're going to they're going Star to school in the dark. The yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Debbie said that the time change always messes up her sleep pattern. Mm -hmm. For some reason, it doesn't have any effect on children under six. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Although I've been reading the tips from the toddler experts all week, they say if you want to gradually go into it, start putting them down for naps and bedtime ten minutes later every night, oh. and so that it kind of makes up for and it's a seamless process. I'm sure my kids will still be bouncing off the walls at 6 a.m. <laughs> on my, Sunday my, my. morning. Yeah. So I'm going to get myself to yeah. bed earlier and make up for it. Well, for just, it. just call me. I mean, you'll always have a friend who's, who's up. FaceTime at 6 a.m. Hey, I'll be ready. Yeah, put on some Cocoa Melon. <laughs> just get through the day. Hey, Meg, what you doing? <laughs> All right, let's get to some morning headlines. We do have a lot to talk about here and a serious story in Oak Ridge. We are continuing to learn more about the 14-year-old girl hit and killed by a car while she was trick-or-treating Monday night. Yeah, a driver hit Aaliyah Thornhill and another 14-year-old on Haw River Road Monday night. WFMY News News, Ice News McMiller has a closer look at what's happening. And this is not the first young person to die on this stretch of road. Just half a mile away from this crash site, another young person died here along Haw River Road. Three years ago, 11-year-old Noah Chambers died on this same road. Now with 14-year-old Aaliyah Thornhill's life taken in the same area, people in Oak Ridge want to see change. I'd like to see one of those blinking speedometer type things. That would be super helpful. Um, also just more speed limit signs and possibly lighting up the road if it, if it can be. And this stretch of road is run by the state. So the mayor of Oak Ridge says that she is working with the state to come up with possible solutions, but she says it could be a couple of years before the state makes changes. DOT sent a statement that reads in part, our traffic unit will be looking into roadway conditions after we have a formal report from law enforcement to determine if there is opportunity to improve the safety of all road users in this area. NCDOT reports that there have been a total of 49 crashes here along Hall River Road in the past five years. So Hall River Road where Thornhill was hit did not have sidewalks and the DOT says it was poorly lit. So it could take a bit of action to make sure there is change in Oak Ridge in Greensboro in the city limits of Greensboro. At least it's a different process. If you live here and want a sidewalk, you must call the Greensboro Department of Transportation. The number is 336-373-4368. It will decide if your road qualifies for consideration for a city sidewalk construction project. Get us to get a streetlight installed. You must first obtain signatures from at least 75% of residents along your street in a petition. Greensboro Streetlight Program will then take care of the rest. The program is funded by GDOT at no additional cost to residents. Well, bus service in Greensboro back running again after GTA drivers did not run their routes yesterday morning. Riders were off buses for at least four hours as drivers demanded changes. A GTA driver told us they want more pay, more pay time off, and to keep their current insurance plan. The company that contracts the drivers will meet with them and start negotiating. Until then, they don't expect any more issues. Greensboro's new trash policy is now in effect as of yesterday. You now have 48 hours to get your bins out. That is double the original 24 hour window proposed. You can put your bin out as early as 7 in the morning, but it needs to 7 in the morning the day prior, we should say, but it needs to be gone by 7 the morning after. People who don't do it face a $25 fine. A popular country music artist canceled his show in Greensboro this week. A lot of you looking forward to seeing Travis Tritt at the Tanger Center tomorrow. He says he's dealing with a knee injury, so he can't make this date or any of his other November tour dates. Two other artists expected to play with him, Chris Jansen and the War Hippies, also canceling as well. Refunds are available where you purchased your tickets.
All righty, let's uh, check out the uh, seven day forecast. All that extra cloudiness you see this morning being produced by a little upper level disturbance that'll move across the area today. Couldn't rule out an isolated shower or sprinkle, but really most of us stay dry. Just a lot of extra clouds holding us in the upper 60s, but those 70s are gonna come back. Yeah, sunshine in 70 tomorrow, low 70s on Friday. Weekend's looking awesome. Yeah, start making weekend plans. We're looking at low and even mid 70s right on through Monday, Election Day, around 70. It's going to be dry. You can't blame it on me and Christian if you don't get out and vote because mm -hmm. the weather's going to be a OK. Good. I it's like this stretch fault. of yeah. weather. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep saying that. Not our fault. Not, not, not our fault. fault. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> hey, um, Megan and Debbie said that she remembers those days with her kids. So uh -huh. we're definitely not the first so we're not. or the last no. or the only. So sure. we'll get through it this yes, weekend. We will. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Yes, you get it. <laughs> and thank you all for watching us on After GMS. Certainly had a great time with all yeah. of you and can't wait to see what you have to say tomorrow. All right, get out there and get to it.
Mm -mm. Hey, but um, we might have still had like, we had all the Aggie homecoming rap oh, and stuff. Probably, yeah. probably people were still in town. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, George. Mm -hmm. huh. yeah. 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 I don't know. Hey.